my dear child. Pause. Breathe. Let that sink in. This is not an ordinary moment. This is a divine encounter. This message is not for everyone. It is for you. Out of all the souls on this earth, you have been chosen. Not by chance. Not by accident. But by divine will. You have been called to see, hear, and receive something that most will never have the privilege to grasp. Only 1% are chosen to receive this message, and you are one of them. So listen with your heart, not just your ears. Pay attention as I reveal to you the truth, the purpose, and the path that lies before you. This message is a sign that you have been set apart for something far greater than you can imagine. If your heart seeks my blessings, child, tell me yes, I need with open arms, I am ready to pour out my love and grace upon you. My beloved child, understand this. You are not here by chance. Your existence is not a random occurrence, nor is your life a series of meaningless events. You are part of a grand design, a plan that was set in motion long before you took your first breath. I knew you before you were formed. I called you by name before the world even knew you existed. There is a purpose on your life, a purpose so great that even the forces of darkness have tried to stop you from realizing it. But they have failed. You are still here, and that is proof that you are destined for more. You may have faced pain, loss, rejection, and disappointment, but none of it was wasted. Every trial was preparation. Every setback was a setup. Every tear you shed watered the seeds of greatness that I planted in you. You are not ordinary. You are extraordinary. You are chosen to do something that no one else can do in the way that you can do it. I have given you gifts, talents, and abilities that are uniquely yours. It's time for you to stop doubting yourself and start walking in the purpose I have prepared for you. Your calling is irrevocable, and no one, not man, not doubt, not fear, can take it from you. If my message brought you comfort, show your love by hitting the like button, dear child. My dear child, you may wonder, why me? I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I've fallen short. But hear me well. I have never called the perfect. I call the willing. I call those who have been broken, bruised, and battle-worn. Why? Because my grace is sufficient for you. You have been forgiven. Every mistake, every wrong decision, and every regret, I have wiped them clean. My love for you is not based on your perfection, but on my perfection. Do you see it now? You don't have to strive for my love. It is already yours. You don't have to earn my approval. I approve of you before you even knew my name. Grace is not a license to remain the same. It is the power to become more. With my grace, you will rise where others fall. You will endure where others give up. You will walk through doors that others were denied. Not because you are better, but because I am with you. So, walk boldly, knowing that my grace covers you like a shield. My beloved, the path I have prepared for you will not always be clear. You will not always see what lies ahead. But I am calling you to walk by faith, not by sight. Faith is believing before you see it. It is stepping forward when you're unsure of the ground beneath you. It is trusting that I am guiding your every step, even when you don't understand where you are going. There will be times when doubt will whisper lies into your mind. It will tell you this isn't real, or you're not worthy. But I tell you this. Do not listen. Doubt is the enemy of destiny. Faith is the bridge that will carry you from where you are to where I have called you to be. When the world tells you to give up, keep going. When people around you mock your dreams, remember that I planted those dreams in your heart. 
walk by faith, and watch as doors that were once closed swing open before you. You do not need to see every step ahead. You only need to trust that I will never let you fall. Bless supporter. Your dedication and super thanks contributions help illuminate the world with a message of faith and unity. Together, we create a future where love and truth prevail. Click the super thanks button and embrace the joy of heavenly blessings in your life. My dear child, there is no power greater than obedience. The path I have for you requires your obedience, even when it doesn't make sense. Sometimes, I will ask you to do things that seem illogical. I may call you to leave behind comfort to walk into the unknown. I may ask you to forgive those who hurt you. I may ask you to trust me when everything in you wants to control the outcome. But understand this. Obedience unlocks the next level. It is the key that opens the door to the blessings that have been prepared for you. When you obey, you are telling me, I trust you more than I trust myself, and that trust will be rewarded. Do not be like those who delay obedience, for delayed obedience is still disobedience. When I call you to act, act immediately. When I call you to speak, speak boldly. When I call you to step forward, do not look back. Your obedience is a signal to heaven that you are ready to receive the blessings I have stored up for you. My beloved child, I know you desire success and breakthroughs, but understand that growth is a process. Seeds do not become trees overnight. Flowers do not bloom in an instant. And you, my child, are no different. There will be seasons of waiting, seasons of pruning, seasons where it feels like nothing is happening. But I assure you, growth is happening in the unseen places. Just as roots grow deep underground before a tree breaks the surface, I am growing you in hidden places. Embrace the process. Trust the timing. Do not rush what I am building in you. The most valuable things in life are not instant. They are cultivated. You are being cultivated. You are being prepared. And when the time is right, I will elevate you in ways you never imagined. Precious one, let my words bring light to your path. Join this family by subscribing. So together, we can journey through life with faith and encouragement. My child, you have favor. Divine favor. This is why you have survived things that others could not. This is why doors have opened for you that others could not enter. This is why opportunities have found you even when you didn't ask for them. Favor is not fair, but it is yours. It is the evidence that I am with you. Favor will take you further than hard work alone. It will place you before kings and queens. It will give you access to rooms you never thought you would enter. It will cause people to bless you without knowing why. Do not apologize for the favor I have placed on your life. Do not shrink back to make others feel comfortable. You are called, chosen, and anointed. Let the favor I have given you shine for all to see. My beloved child, gratitude is the currency of heaven. The more you give thanks, the more I will pour out blessings upon you. When you learn to be thankful for what you have, you create room to receive more. Do not wait for the big moments to express gratitude. Give thanks for the small victories, the little signs, the daily bread. Each day you are alive is a gift, and each breath is a reason to give thanks. Gratitude shifts your focus from lack to abundance, from despair to hope, from doubt to faith. Give thanks in all things, for every moment, even the difficult ones, is part of your journey toward greatness. My dear child, if you have made it this far, know this. You are the one percent. You are among the chosen few. You are not like the others. You are set apart, destined for greatness, and called to do extraordinary things. The fact that you are still here reading 
these words is proof that you are ready to step into the next chapter of your destiny. Now, I leave you with this charge. Walk forth with courage. Do not be afraid. Do not doubt your worth. The path ahead may be unclear, but your footsteps are already ordered. I have gone ahead of you to prepare the way. You will succeed. You will rise. You will fulfill the calling on your life. This is your moment. This is your confirmation. You are the one percent. My dear child, let my light shine through you. Share this message with someone who could use encouragement and know that I am with both of you always. Amen.